So today is Wednesday and Wednesdays are videos that I usually put up is regarding blindness. Um, technology, assistive technology, white cane um, usage, guide dogs, things of that nature. And I also post random videos about my dogs too because I love them. But anyway, um, I am going to do something about my um, genetic retinal disease um, right after this clip. But since if you notice all this week I have been doing things hair related the last week of November November because I'm going to take a hiatus um, in December and January of the new year because a lot of things are changing in my life and I just got to get everything settled and it's going to be crazy for those last two months but I will be back in February don't worry I can't wait I got so many videos planned for you guys but I will still be active on my other social media, Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram, of course. So at the end of this video, I'll make sure I'll put my social media handle so that way you guys can check me out if you want to. But I wanted to do something hair related. So let's get started. Let's get to the hair. So all about the hair. In my previous leave-in conditioner moisturizer video, I advised you guys that there was two leave-ins that I didn't, I couldn't show you because I was either using them or whatever. And um, I it was between the two of them, which one was gonna come to me in 2019, with me in 2019. So if you're interested in my hairstyle now, this is a wash and go with conditioner only. I didn't put any gel with the exception of my edges. So this is tr uh, truly um, conditioner only wash and go. But let me go ahead and show you. This first one is Miel. A pomegranate leave-in conditioner that just uh, my husband smelled it in, in Target it's like this smells so good babe I smelled it I was like I don't know what this is but I need it in my hair <laughs> the smell got me and I I really not I don't want to be a product junkie but I'm so glad my husband stumbled on this um, while we were in Target and I got it because not only does it smell freaking amazing but it is so moisturizing for my hair and it's cruelty free <laughs> but it's so moisturizing for my hair it's lightweight um, it doesn't weigh my hair down um, the smell lingers a little bit in my hair I absolutely love this stuff this is definitely going into the new year 2019 with me so yes it's going now my OG holy grail that was part of the pack that was on the fence of being cut is the Miss Jessie's leave-in condition. And the only reason, ironically, because I love this stuff, it moisturizes my hair, it's also cruelty-free, <laughs> but it moisturizes my hair, has great slip, a little goes a long way for my hair. I absolutely love the way it leaves my hair. I actually have it under my um, conditioner on my wash and go now. It leaves it moisturized, fluffy, soft. I just hate the smell. It smells like soap. That's all I can, like, I don't know, it just smells like soap, not like the floral soap. It just smells like soap, which is a very clean, fresh scent, I guess, but I just don't like it. It just reminds me that, and I can smell it and it gives me a headache and it's like a detergent smell that I'm carrying with me for at least the first 15 minutes of my day because it doesn't linger. It eventually goes out. So... Who did I choose to go in 2019? You already know that I already love this product very much. I'm taking both of, of them with me. I can't choose because they just moisturize my hair so great. So that's okay, Ramasa. It's okay. Ramasa is my legal name. <laughs> it's okay. You're going to be fine. You can go ahead and take both of these bad boys with you and love your natural hair. So guys, that's the hair part of my video. Um, like I always say, be you, stay true, and be naturally seen. Now, let's get to the blind stuff. So in my um, Irregular Choice unboxing, my very first pair of Irregular Choice, I got two pairs, but I only unboxed one. And in that video, I said that I was starting to wear heels again, even being visually impaired, and um, using a white cane and a guide dog, I'm starting to incorporate heels back into my routine. And someone asked me, wow, can you please give us tips on how you can walk with heels with a white cane? And I said, I definitely will. So I wanted to do that before um, the year ended. Um, I wanted to, 
honor my promise. So I'm gonna give you guys a couple of tips. But before I do, the second pair that I'm gonna be wearing in New Year's Eve of the regular choice shoes that I got for myself. Well, actually my husband got it for me for Christmas. That's good, I love the box. Our colors are gonna be burgundy and gold. So I got some sparkly shoes. Oh, she is so pretty. Now, the heels, I don't go higher than a heel, about an inch and a half, or a kitten heel. I feel comfortable um, wearing that height. Um, I do not wear heels with my guide dog. Um, the equilibrium, our rhythms together, I just can't do it. That doesn't mean it cannot be done. When I went to my blind school to get Roxy to get trained, um, there was another young lady there with her guide dog. She brought her heels with her because she was a professional and she always wore heels and she didn't want to stop. So she brought her heels to get trained with her dog at school in a safe environment. I did not do that. Once I had um, really bad vision, I lost my central vision I just stopped wearing heels altogether and just went straight to fats but now years later I miss it I love how it used to make me feel feel talks I'm short I'm only 5'3 <laughs> I remember how it used to make my legs look so I'm like let me just get a little pump and I'm glad I did but I prepared myself and practice 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 before I ventured out in the world with my heels and my white cane again this is my own thing that I do I, I mean this is the are exercises that work for me please please if you want to know how to walk with heels with your white cane or your guide dog please speak with your O&M instructor which stands for orientation and mobility if you didn't know Please speak with them first to see if they can give you any um, professional tips as well. But this is just something that I decided to try to do and it actually worked for me. So I hope you guys enjoy it and let's go to the next clip. <laughs> Alrighty, the doggies are with me. Say hi, Ike. Say hi, Rorax. So what I do, I do a couple of exercises to help with my balance. I don't know which dog that is. Um, but first, I go ahead and warm up my calves by doing... Okay, so I start with a couple of exercises to help with my balance. And I do all this with my eyes closed because I don't want any light perception to kind of distract me. So um, I start out first with a couple of calf lifts. like my little ballet shoes. <laughs> I do two, three sets of 20, but in the sake of time, I'll just do a couple. And then the next one to kind of warm up my calves and my legs, I alternate. And again, I do three sets of 20. Now I do ballet um, positions and yes, I did ballet as a child, so I still remember. So I'm gonna just kind of start relaxed. And then first position, as comfortable as you can. Second. Third, fourth, and fifth. And I do do stretches because I'm not that flexible anymore. So be nice. My technique may not be as perfect as it was when I was like 10 years old. But I do this um, for at least five minutes to warm up just to get my balance. And again, I do this all with my eyes closed. Now the next part that I do is actually with my cane. 